Uh, what's going on, guys? What's going on here? Um, previously, I uploaded a video about perspective. However, the, something was going on with the auto. So I'm going to redo this entire tutorial again. But this time, I'm going to separate it into two different pieces. So one on lines and one on curves. But both were pretty much similar, but they have their slight differences. But lines is a little bit more complicated than curves, in my opinion. But um, yeah, let, let's get into the tutorial. Oh, one one thing I would recommend is that you practice drawing, just for practice. Do, do draw from observation, no photos, on 3D boxes and cylinder and cylinders. Just set them up and just draw from observation. Try to be as accurate as you can. Just pay attention to the lines that are, and the lines and curves that are going on in the boxes and the cylinders. You know, so um, yeah, we're gonna get into the tutorial, and, th and this one is gonna be on lines. So um, here we go. Now, well, one thing that that you wanna know is that like, fundamentally, these uh b these buildings they all originated from boxes so they were all boxes before i added the details in so that that's that's its simplest form right there so um also another thing that you want to know is um you need to make sure these lines are parallel and they do not meet because if you eventually like draw a straight line and it continues and continues and continues like this line right here is going to cross this and that's not what you want to have it, like this is going to cross it but you know so um people won't notice this at first but however like this is how you like train your eye to see the backgrounds and whatnot you know um so you could pretty much like practice drawing without even drawing you know like just by looking at the world and just trying to think about like the different line structures and the curves of different objects and things like every day that's going on you know it, like in, in your everyday life you know so um yeah so i'm going to show you this right now uh okay see like eventually this line right here is going to cross this one if this continues and continues and continues this will cross each other you know, so yeah, nobody will notice, but you got to get into that like mindset to do like these backgrounds. But you know, it doesn't have to be always perfect. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. <clears throat> I mean, you will like miss it or two, or you might get it perfect. But yeah, this that's what you want to have in mind. So, um, oh, well, spoilers, but um, yeah. I was gonna ask you guys to guess, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess, guess what's uh good with this, and what's bad with this. Oh, so I'm gonna reveal it. You know, it's 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 not gonna work anymore. You guys already saw what's going on. So um, yeah, this is uh now right again. These lines right here, like this, like look at these characters as lines. Okay. So these lines are parallel and they will not meet each other if they continue to go onward. This line is parallel and they will not meet, meet each other. They will they won't meet each other and it will continue to go on, to go onward. So these three individuals right here, they're they're going onward in their lines. You see? And however, however, this big dude right here is he's going to cross this guy. And that's not what you want. You want your characters or anything to be like perfectly aligned with each other. And you don't want any of them to meet unless you're doing another line segment, you know, unless you're doing another uh, direction as to where the lines are going. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. So I'm going to pause the video and see if I didn't spoil anything in the next example I'm going to give so let me pause right here okay and we're back so um this is another example so pause the video and guess what's wrong with this picture what's not aligned correctly and now I'm going to unveil it to you I hope you guessed so uh, 
as you can see this line and this line they aren't aligned correctly now if Paul or this this my character that's his name Paul but if he was like just slightly tilted a little bit it would be parallel and it would be good but you want to make sure that these lines if they continue uh, once more they will not meet each other you don't want them meeting each other you want them to just sit there together <coughs> yeah you just want them to sit there together equally not meeting each other so yeah so the, the, there's another example hold on let, let me pause the video I, I probably spoiled something hold on all right it's cool I didn't spoil anything so um also 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 one other thing you might have uh, guessed this to be the mistake but again he's like bending over so you know he's he's bending over so yeah however these like these things these things are like perfectly they're supposed to be perfectly aligned with each other again like if, if you just take it out nobody's gonna notice however you just wanna try to be equal you know parallel okay keep that in mind when you're making your backgrounds so right here I have this image right here um and this, is a, this is a cityscape image and a photo I just found on Google images and um, so right here you're gonna see the same examples I gave beforehand these lines not nothing too complicated it's just lines going straight that's it the yeah just lines going straight that don't meet each other okay so um well one funny thing about this photo is that it's taking with it's taken with a camera and it's not how it actually looks I mean like like a ca a camera has like this curve it brings that like warp feeling to some of the uh, images that it takes so uh, it's not a hundred percent correct but it gives the illusion that it is correct so um yeah so like basically if you just look a little bit closely you'll see some of these lines prob are probably going to meet each other but at face value it doesn't look like that if you like take them off you know but I'm going to also explain something else I'm going to show you something else um, so like this is the second wave here as you can see the camera roar really shows here because like these lines look look, look these lines the, the new ones that you caught yeah these lines right here this lines and goes this li these lines are going one direction very very straight this line is going another direction you see if you look carefully hold on yeah because this line right here is going to eventually meet with this line right here you know but you want to make sure your lines like these are aligned perfectly and don't meet just like these this the first wave of lines so uh, I'm going to give you yes this thing and this this now I, I like to call these uh, um, dominant lines also okay okay we'll, we'll just call them just blue lines okay so lines so like again this this is like the second the third wave the first wave of the blue lines this is the first wave of the blue lines so right here like these lines if you look carefully very carefully these lines will meet each other if this continues to go onward and I have a huge example here right here so now this one is really obvious because this line right here is going to eventually meet with these lines right here these lines will cross this and you won't, but you don't want that you want them parallel so um, but the, the, the reason why it's doing this is because again the, the camera the way the lens is working on this image so <coughs> yeah backgrounds uh, lines are a lot more complex than the curvilinear thing my next tutorial but uh, 
I might have like a a separate another part to this like something just strictly dealing with backgrounds but so far what you want to, what you want to know is just make sure the, the lines don't meet each other like if you're doing if you're making this line go one direction right here make sure the rest of these lines that are going this direction they do not cross each other okay so uh yeah there's the end of the tutorial uh okay 10 minutes cool cool all right so i'm going to be making a part two uh don't forget to like comment subscribe and later